Hello, Tuesday night people. Uh, another video a week further on. I promised I'd show you two things last week and due to some rather unpleasant memory uh, uh, corruption on my own part, which is my own code, I'm going to show you one thing this week so I'm a little bit further behind than I'd want to be. But stuff that, I'd rather be further behind than burnt out. So, as you can see, we're at screen capture this week. Nothing particularly fancy. Uh, it is a real next. Um, you can't do that on an emulator. So here we are, real next. And we're running next pi. Here we go. So, unfortunately, being in a capture environment, there's a few things I can't do, one of which is point to a screen, but I'm sure you'll cope with that. Uh, uploader, as mentioned last week, works quite pleasantly, and we will upload, let's see what all we upload. Look, I'll read his own Monty, because I hate it. Not Monty, I like Monty himself, I just happen to prefer the AY version to the SID version, of which many people tell me I'm wrong, but they're all wrong. So, the first thing you'll notice is that was uploaded with a short file name. That is definitely one of the things that will be fixed before the final release. It's not a hard thing to do, it's just something I've not got around to doing yet. But, uploaded files can be previewed, and previewed files can be played. SID files are a little bit slow to start playing. It's uh, sort of uh, the way that the Pi Zero does the software synthesis. I should turn this down slightly while I talk. Captures and mixing desks, we can do, we have technology. Um, so one of the things that uh, uh, the Pi does is a little bit slow when it first decodes SID files. Anyone who uses the uh, basic handles will have seen this already. But the other thing that the SID files often do is have multiple tunes in them. So if I press M on this interface here, it will send a command to the Pi, and you'll hear the next tune that's embedded in this file play. Yeah, that's enough of the monarchy stuff. Um, uh, but so the primary purpose of that user interface is to add to see the number of SID, uh, tunes in a SID file, allow to experiment with them, play with them, uh, and obviously check that the SID files that you might be using in your own productions uh, contain what you want. So this interfa interface just lets you preview them. We also have SNDH files, uh, SC68 files is, uh, is the player for those, and these are Atari ST files. Uh, again, same sort of interface where you get preview of metadata, and hitting P will hit the file from playing. And that'll do for now. Uh, we also have Amiga Mod File Support. The problem with Mega Mod files is they are quiet. Uh, now that's just the nature of the way they work, I believe. But what we can do is we have amplification built into this interface, so you can hear it getting louder. Uh, and that's not me doing that on my mixing desk here. I can actually crank that right up on my mixing desk. But we won't make that go. We won't make that go too loud. I don't want to deafen you as I talk. Uh, the other thing we have is. Um, pattern skipping because of the way that Mika Files work, you can do that. So if I hit M, I can skip through the patterns in this song. And mute various tracks. Bring them back again. Put it all back in. Anyway. So that's mod file, and one of the things that we've never exposed in the basic handler, but has always been there since NextPi was launched, is MP3 playback. Same, uh, same preview interface you'll have seen already, of course, in, uh, in this app, and uh, <coughs> I'm just playing back MP3s now. I'm going to turn that down ever so slightly while you're listening to the awesome gaming user play some guitar there. Uh, the reason this isn't exposed in our basic API for the handlers from now 53 weeks ago when we finished the Gold Master is that MP3 files um, are very big, generally speaking, and because of the things that I was telling you about last week, the way that PySen handles the file, they are not the very best thing in the world to ever come from, uh, because the bigger the file, the more transfer and error, so on and so forth. So I'm sure you can see why we don't want to expose that in the basic API with the error handling. But with the error handling and with the faster file transfers, the MP3 playback is something we want to expose accessible to you, the user. There is also text file uh, uh, previewing and metadata for that, but I have not got around to building a text file viewer yet because, frankly, text files can be any length in the world. Uh, megabytes and megabytes and tens of megabytes, and the memory handling for that is where I've fallen down in the last few days. And uh, the reason that I am a few days behind schedule 
And that brings us to point two, the thing that I wanted to show you, but I'm not. And that was the ability to switch drives. Uh, I would normally point something on the screen here and show you what I'm referring to, but I can't. So in the file browsing area that you see me navigating around using the cursor keys, at the top above where that uh, brown bar is right now, it says RAM. But there are multiple drives. Uh, memory used is the RAM drive, but there's also some persistent storage for full user files and settings on the SD card. Uh, this uses the same transfer mechanism that the file uh, browser uses. Arbitrarily large amounts of data can go back and forth for directory listings, because directory listings, like a text file, can be very, very big. So it's one of the things, again, that this week I've just fallen down in the handling of. Just didn't run out of time, really, to get all the bits and bobs working. So rather than getting uh, cut up about it and upset about it, I decided that I would rummage out an old capture card. And I'm afraid this literally is the oldest capture card that I own. Um, un unknowingly, I couldn't find my best one that I bought a few weeks ago intentionally for this job. So while this capture is not fabulous, hopefully it'll be more fabulous in the future. Um, but I've, I've, I've kept my promise so far. One week in, here we go, a week later. And you lovely Tuesday night people can see the latest updates. So SID file, SMD file, MOD file, MP3 file, and generic 7-bit text file. Metadata is now sent back and forth from the Pi to the next, allowing the next to know data about that things and everything except text files we have you just seen right there the um the players for and hopefully by the next time you see this there'll be something a little bit more user interface to show you in that text area uh, viewer which will be very useful for viewing the documentation that is built into the pi uh on how you, one can uh, use some of the text mode apis that are in the pi uh the other thing that i will be working on next and the, the reason that this needs working on isn't technically david's fault but i am 100 percent blaming our david for this is that uh Let's pick this. This is a good user interface to show you. Here, where you see where it says length, 84 patterns, we are using the rather delicious, quite pretty, and typographically perfect spectrum letter R as part of the standard spectrum ROM, ROM set. For some reason, when I put this thing together, I completely and utterly imported the wrong font, and I didn't notice it for weeks and weeks and months, until David pointed out to me the R's in Professional Tracker. And they're curvy, and they're horrible, and they're wrong. And now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. So I will probably be working on the user interface and some fonts next. But this just gives me an excuse to show you some other tools that I've built as part of this for manipulating these things. And uh, uh, that can be another video for you lo lovely, lucky Tuesday night people. So thank you very much for watching. This is normally the point I put my thumb up in front of the camera, but you know, no camera, it's a screen capture. I can't do that. So maybe I should get a, uh, get a nice uh, sp uh, sl uh, specky next loading screen with a thumbs up on it that I, can, that I can use for the end of my videos when I'm doing screen capture. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for listening. Uh, 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 a traditional boring waffle from me. Uh, end of week nine, and I'll catch you next week. TTFN, and bye for now.